everybody! Today we will discover what unites two very different cities, London and Athens. Athens is the capital of Greece and symbol of the culture of ancient Greece. Here were born influential figures of antiquity and were hosted for the first time in history the Olympic Games. In Athens you can find the remains of different civilizations and cultures, from the Neolithic to the modern age. Today it houses important buildings and monuments such as the National Archaeological Museum, the Ancient Acropolis and the Parthenon, symbol of the city. It is said that the region of Athens began with a myth, which is told, guess where? In London. London is the capital of England and the United Kingdom, symbol of modernity and cosmopolitanism. It is one of the most important metropolitan cities in the world and the third most visited city in the world. Its first remains date back to the Britons, but the most important evidence we have since 43 after Christ. With the Romans, London has experienced a great period of extraordinary power, such as the Tudor period, the Elizabethan age and the Victorian age. It has a great history and it is also demonstrated by the monuments we can find such as Westminster Abbey, Buckingham Palace, Merbolach and so on. To discover, however, the origins of Athens, we must go into the British Museum. What unites London and Athens are the Parthenon and the British Museum. Let's find out why. The myth that tells the story of the Athenians is told partly through the statues of the eastern pediment and the western pediment of the Parthenon, now in the British Museum. The British Museum is one of the world's largest ancient museums. Founded in 1753 by Sir Hans Lohen, it will get its great importance thanks to the Rosetta Stone, which is perhaps the first translated document of antiquity. It reports, in fact, an engraving written in three different drafts, ancient Greek, hieroglyphics and demotic, which will be the penultimate type of Egyptian language. Today, the British Museum hosts sculptors from all over the world and in 1931, Sir Joseph Duven, an art dealer, offered funding to open the Duven Gallery in the museum, which would have hosted all the Parthenon sculpture. But what is the Parthenon? The Parthenon is a Greek building located on the Acropolis of Athens and dedicated to the goddess Athena. It is the symbol of classical Greek architecture. The pediment of which we have spoken will be a complex that is a set of sculptures that decorates the upper part of the temple, in this case of the Parthenon. The eastern pediment of the temple tells the legend about the birth of Athena, while the western pediment tells the war between Athena and Poseidon. Both are made of marble. Unfortunately, as for the eastern pediment, the central part, that is the part that tells the moment of the birth of the goddess, was lost and were found only the remains of the god that completed the scene, like Dionysus. The myth tells that the god Athena, daughter of Zeus, was born from the school of the latter. They say that Athena was the founder of the city, but many other myths just say that she conquered the city and became its protector. Athens was meant to become a rich and powerful city, so Athena tried to conquer it, but someone else had the same idea. His name was Poseidon, and he started a conflict that not even Zeus could stop. So they decided to make a gift, to give a gift to the city. Poseidon wanted to donate a horse, symbol of the strength, courage and war, Instead, Athena wanted to donate an olive tree, a symbol of peace, serenity and prudence. The elders of the city said that the peace was more secure and lasting, though not conspicuous, but the war was dangerous and insecure, so they chose Athena, and thanks to this, Athens became a great city. Did you know this connection between those two cities? Have you ever visited any of those places? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to follow me and activate the notifications. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and YouTube. In the description you will also find a link to my website. See you in the next video where we will discover the Chateau of the Loire.